It's late at night in a Palmerston car park. A dozen teenagers are drinking, unaware they're being watched. Burnouts, drifting and donuts begin. Their faces, number plates and every move caught on camera. Within minutes, police arrive, shutting down the party. What was moments earlier a competition is now a race to dodge the blame as the teens begin to scamper. Next, it's an all too familiar sight. A group of kids attempt to steal a car near the Palmerston bus interchange. They're monitored as they break in. There are 190 fixed police cameras across the territory. Last year alone capturing more than 3,500 crimes. Half the offenders caught in the act. Now there's a new tool in the kit. Warning. Security systems activated. You are now under surveillance and the police authorities have been notified. Three mobile units set to target crime hotspots. They're uh, one of a kind. Uh, they're designed by our Northern Territory Police uh, Technical Unit and the CCTV unit, who we're very proud of. They'll be in use seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and deployed to a range of trouble locations. Maybe from anything to do with anti-social behaviour or anti-hooning uh, or any of those kind of uh, activities that we're looking at picking up and preventing them from occurring. The solar-powered anti-graffiti mobile units boast two cameras with high-resolution picture. One funded by the Territory Government, the other two federally through proceeds of crime. Nowhere else in Australia has this uh, technology been employed. The cameras have a 360-degree range and a 36 times optical zoom. They're the first of their kind in Australia and police believe they'll be a valuable tool in preventing crime. 576 of the crimes caught on police CCTV last year led to prosecution. That's almost double the previous year. Just over the car park over there, Michael, yeah. just zoom in on the white car. And with recent weeks of turmoil in the Palmerston area, they're now set up there. Every crime is one crime too many and uh, we've got to do the best we can to make sure that these youth who are committing these crimes, particularly property, cr property crime, uh, isn't occurring. If we have a particular uh, suburb that perhaps there's some youth offending, we'll park them up where they are and let them know that we're there and monitoring their behaviour. You are now under surveillance and the police authorities have been notified. And while they may seem like an eye sore, they're set to get an eye full when they're moved around to upcoming major events. Zara Ratu. Nine News.